is here James Harden getting it done today and he just keeps hitting shot after shot they need to design a way to deny him the basketball make someone else beat you we see a chart here for the shooting performance so far and it's really been a tremendous night he's been efficient he's been a major driving force in this offense and it's no small task to try to slow him down once he gets rolling like we've seen in this game so far watch out And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And it's Dang in the corner. Hits it from three-point range. Dang's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. You never pass for the sake of passing. You wait until the defense commits. Russell does that, finds the open man nicely. Here's Beverly. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Beverly's got 11. Yeah, and they're starting to warm up from the field this quarter. Adding to their lead, and you see that field goal percentage of the game steadily heading north. Russell kicks to Randall. The shot is good, and so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. And saying, you want a piece of this? Randall easily getting the better of that exchange. Over to the wing. There's the pass to Capella. Young with the steal. Now the Lakers on the break. Young with the ball. Here's Russell. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. No question he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And the feeling with D'Angelo Russell in Lakerland is that he has all-star potential. Very confident. A lot of swagger. He embraces the big stage, and he has tremendous offensive skills. And, Kevin, I would agree with all of that because we watched him in college. He's a very good shooter, um, really good pick-and-roll player. He's got an excellent IQ for the game at the offensive end. And because of all of that, I think he can be um, quite dangerous as an offensive player. Good on the second free throw. You know, a decent free throw shooter at this point in his career, D'Angelo has the natural stroke, I think, to become one of the league's best. Shoots it very fluidly and easily. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. He was all alone on that one. He's got 10. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. It's Harden with the drive. Mozgov grabs the board. Mozgov's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Young kicks to Dang. Nick Young on the wing, guarded by Hart. Out of bounds, Houston takes possession. I tell you what, he clearly had a brain freeze uh, on that one. You might just as well keep going straight to the bench. And the Lakers making a change here. Black's checked in. Harden. And Harden with the stuff. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Well, Greg, it was the exact same kind of offensive showcase for him in their last game, too. When it happens this often, that's, uh, that's not a pattern. That's uh, a characteristic. It's stolen by Capella. Harden outside. Pass to Capella. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. And Young, here we go. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. Young's got 12 in the game. This kind of night for Young, he's looking like an all-star. He's got natural scoring ability to string together a lot of points. He's doing his way right now. Let's it go. It's hauled in by Beverly. I love the anticipation defensively there to get into the perfect spot. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. And after knee surgery in the summer of 2015, Mozgov's numbers fell off just a bit last season. And you could tell that the Cavs weren't happy with his play. His per-minute numbers were actually not that far out of line with his career norms, but for a team gunning for a title, any slippage was cause for concern. Free throw drops for Harden. 
We've seen James Harden playing a good game here. 18 points, and he's created a lot of chances for his teammates also. And, and Clark, some of those assists that he's gotten today have been just electric. And the Rockets making a change here. Nene is checked in. Harden hits them both. And it took them a while to find their touch at the line, but they have been red hot here in the second quarter. Young outside. He kicks it to Mozgov. Puts it up from 12. The rebound by Anderson. Rockets leading by five. Inside. Here's Nene. And Nene slams it in. Oh, some slick passing from Harden on that one. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 15 since we began the second quarter. Excellent shooting. Outside, Russell. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. That's an unusual, surprising miss for him. Typically, he's good on those inside. Beverly, the pass to Nene. And it's going to be a three-second call. Let's look at the stats for Harden. He's coming off an excellent season. He put up about 29 points a game, seven assists, and six rebounds. And his playmaking really stands out, making his teammates better offensively with his terrific passing. Yeah, he's outstanding at controlling the tempo. I mean, keeps the ball moving and, of course, finds the open man. And Beverly kicks to Anderson. There's the triple. The Lakers with the rebound. Black's got his third rebound on the night. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Mozgov dishes to Dang. The shot's good. Dang's got five points now in the quarter. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening. It, it really is, Clark. The defenders need to do a better job of closing those lanes to the hoop. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Yeah, and a dangerous trend here as they're starting to live and die with outside jump. Really good point, Greg. I mean, you want to keep that balance and attacking inside creates space for shooters and having shooters creates opportunities inside so it works hand in glove and the Lakers call time here and you can tell they're just a little out of sync I think he just wants to get everybody back on the same page yeah I like this time. hey if we let up on D even a little it's enough to get their guy going he cannot continue to cut inside so freely let's gap him and invite the outside shot he does not shoot it well enough to beat us from long range no easy buckets now, all right? We got this. And here for the Lakers. Nancy's checked in for Mozgov. Ingram comes in for Lou Aldang. Williams, he's checked in for Young. And it's Clarkson in for Russell. And then for Houston, Gordon's checked in for Hart. And it's Tyler Ennis in for Patrick Beverly. Kevin, you look at Williams, and he's rather slight in build, but he's got sneaky strength and terrific body control. And Lou Williams, the 2015 Sixth Man of the Year Award winner, he fits the classic mold of instant offense coming off the bench. No doubt about that, guys. And, you know, he said he used to want to prove he could be a starter, but now he's embraced that six-man role, and I think it's a good fit for him. Uh, it's an identity. Um, coming in off the bench and filling it up fits his skill set perfectly. Good on the bucket. And the Rockets lead by six. That's what I call a captivating move there. He absolutely incinerated the D with that one. Hey, hey, hey. 105 left to play here in the second quarter. And it's tonight. And it's Houston on the break. Here's a reason. It's good. The assist that time for Menace. And now it's a nine-point rocket lead. That's number two for him from long range in the quarter. His third overall. Clarkson kicks to Williams. Goes up the baseline. Back to Clarkson. To the paint. Nance passes to Clarkson. There's 31 seconds left in the second quarter. From beyond the arc, the rebound by Anderson. 
Anderson's got four rebounds in this game. Ennis dishes to Gordon. And here's Anderson for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Following this one, they get to host the Mavericks. Nans a screen. Clarkson. They get it back. And it's blocked. And that concludes the first half. Rockets lead by nine. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. James, big first half for you. What was the most important thing that got you going? Uh, just uh, trying to be aggressive, trying to trying to get out early and uh, give a little spark to my teammates. Um, you know, and, and they followed along. So, you know, it's just a matter of us and not turning the ball over and getting stops. So far, so good. Thanks, James. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break.